Okay, folks, now basically there's no figure here, and basically always just basically showing you actual factual data. So I'm in here, and this is what I get. Uh, I'll click back real fast because I want to get to this space stuff. So I went to, and then basically you go to this website here, and you should be able to read it up in the left hand corner. You should be able to just click on this, and go to it, and that's for. I'll come back here in a second, not to waste tape, and I'll just plop over and show you what I'm going to show you because I got this blown up. Now this shot was basically, you see lower right now, it could be a little bit more than an hour, just figure, I mean more than the five hours, but go ahead and figure maybe six hours at the most because I found this here just about 15, 20 minutes ago. And basically, there's something on this video that they don't want you to see. The main thing is you can see a huge CME five hours ago, okay, because they stay pretty much, you'll feel here, pretty much takes this stuff off live. So it's basically they are connected to Lasco because it's the same satellites. It's the stereo satellites, okay? Because Lasco is part of the stereo network, okay? They all get fused together. Now, what I can do is show you also that I actual that this is the freshest Lasco I had, and I might be able to hit the refresh button here. And I will, but you'll see here that this is what they're blocking at this time. So when they do this, you'll either figure we have a big CME which more than likely we probably do right here. Now, we that one's going to be a glancing probe. We're only going to get like 20% of it around the 9th and 10th, I think. Now, I could be a little bit wrong on that, but just go ahead and watch two minute news and you don't have it nailed down because he's got the graph going on. Matter of fact, I might be able to put a little bit of his info in here on this video here. Okay, but a damn good video to go watch is, hang on, and I apologize about that. Basically, this is the freshest shot from Alaska C2. And once again, I got this blown up. I'm gonna just go back here. Basically, there's a huge CME that happened about six hours ago from 3:12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. Now there'll be a different UTC time and so forth because basically, if you could even read these times down here, which is unique that they even blur that out when I blow it up. Because when I went to the video, you're gonna get this here. They don't want you. They removed it. And this is basically the same page. And I'll blow myself down to normal 100. And basically, there you go. So I loaded it twice. At least I click out of both of those. And then we'll go ahead and watch what we see on AIA304. And you're not going to see that big CME, but you will see the other action and all these objects there. So basically, I'll blow this up to full screen. And I'll drop it back and get my cursor out of the way so you can see the time and everything like that. But you do see what you see at the five hours before my central standard time that will be back on the corner here in a minute once I get out of this full page or the play of this. So basically, this though is actual factual that it's a lot more than just the sun up there because the sun just doesn't burn to have all these at the same time right here. These here, it's the super giants in alignment with all the other stars out there that we get all the sunlight and all the heat down here in the drought all over the world and the fires down here on Earth. There's a huge CME off the sun, more than likely, but then also it off, also possibly could be Alarath. But you do actually factually see what we're seeing on this one, but there's a huge CME. Because I just blew up the picture on the right hand corner because this is what I blew up because the idea that when you go to the video you can't see what's going on. But basically it's a lot to do with what I was looking at of uh, basically that was that shot there. So you go to Healy Viewer and you always check out all this stuff. There's an interesting one. We'll open that one up and see what we get out of this one here. It's not maybe we will actually get something there. So Ford Cosworth is making hybrid rockets, I guess. Anyway, a little information for you. And the one I want you to go see is basically. So what I did actually too is I actually clicked the RadNet. It's your CPM, your RAD. That would be your bed again. What I did is I clicked this and opened this up in a new window. Okay, in a new tab. I'm not going to do that now, but I did already. It's supposed to be loading this one. So we'll see what we get. But they're playing. Make sure you basically go to there to this video and basically I went ahead and did uh, 
the Yellowstone connection here. So this is your you cut and paste this, or maybe you should be able to click on that HTTP when you when it loads. And basically you go through that there. I could click and go to it right now, but I'm not going to. Basically, I'm going to. Oh yeah, don't forget this. Remember, you always have to say being on black. So in the future, my LLP LLCs will be able to make sure to tell kids not ever let anybody burn all the books because the idea of the Kindle is what it actually says it is. They can put whatever they want in those things, and then all the libraries are gone, and you only get history of what the power and control wants you to know. Okay, so always remember the Creative Commons to make sure and mention be no black. Okay, now to cut down on the videos, I gotta put as much as I can in each one. Everybody in the East Coast needs to realize that I told you about these big objects coming by that we're gonna get a lot of action. And here's your Saturday fresh, or at least the last, this last six hours. So we got all kinds of quakes 3.2, and basically I'll just be able to save a lot of time by going down and uh, going through the data. I'll drag it through and I'll pop one more. Uh, we'll go out here. Okay. Once again, this is the only time being able to lie to you. So we'll just go to one more. Just so I can use this there and fresh. And we'll lie one more time and we'll go like this. But that's about the only time I lie to you. So all this is actual factual data truth 1.8. And we'll drop down and we'll scan through there. But you can always watch this full screen and freeze this stuff. Okay. Here's your magnitude quakes. Basically, it's because of all those large objects that are supposed to be coming by out in space and your space weather comes down here to earth and then basically I'll drag through all this real fast and you've seen the map up on top and then I'll just basically blind everybody because I'll just zip up to the top again real fast here but you can freeze this on full screen and watch all that data and basically boom back up here and there you go you can scoot around a little bit we already know about Alaska and What's going on everywhere else and actually see this, this one's behind on showing you the Alaska action I showed you more on watch the video just before this one I showed you the Alaska action because basically the Yellowstone graphs are very active I, I, I presume and assume could be wrong and it just sure seems to me that they're reading the quakes kind of low in Yellowstone okay. so I got a lot of good videos here recently to go see so this is my website uh, I don't know any of these people personally okay but here here, 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 it's pretty much decent. The only thing me and Sheila aliens do uh, disagree because I did it. I think she has the possibility that she might not put words in her mouth. But I think she actually believes in UFOs, I don't. Once again, if I was to catch an alien, a alien from space, ladies and gentlemen, I would stuff it, skin it, stuff it, put it in a museum. You should never see any advertising on my channel, okay? So go check out all these videos because the last dozen videos got shit loads of data, and actual factual pictures, and earthquake information in it. Okay, and also the volcano and this. Basically, these volcanoes get action from Mother Nature and space, all conglomerated together with magnetical connections. And the idea that the Earth knows when to make a bunch of ash clouds to cool us off from the sun and the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Because the sun and the super giants are doing what everything that we've been showing you, that I've been showing you, basically. I don't know why I always say we. I do it all by myself, pretty much, as far as showing you. Not, not really. There's other people on the internet. I always tell you about it. Now, I want you to go ahead and check out this guy's video today. And basically, the Climate Viewer 3D guy, he invented it. And basically, Jim Lee is pretty awesome. And basically, watches you. And he's going to let you know all about the drones. And he also shows you some information on a... Uh, on that basically the miniaturized space shuttle that we have now that basically lands you refueled and goes back up and that's why we basically don't have the big space shuttles anymore and they'll probably work up another size bigger than that one for a little bit bigger payloads maybe so the idea that we have all kinds of stuff we have air superiority like crazy and he wants to give you a ton of information so the United States of America has air superiority like crazy, and we have a ton of information in here that he'll show you in this video, okay? So make sure you go watch and check this video out. All right, let's get back to a little bit more other stuff. So if, folks, if you have a Geiger counter in your area, trust it, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Trust your trust your Geiger counters because basically this is what we're getting when I go to Radhead. And maybe that's all that you have to do to get it to it. I'm going to see if this will open up. Now the actual factual, maybe we're getting some of that 20% CME that was going to hit Earth. Maybe we're starting to get that, and we'll maybe know tomorrow, tonight, later this afternoon. But we have a lot of videos that are not playing on YouTube right now that are getting loaded by HeliViewer. Because this one here wouldn't load, and this one was six hours ago, roughly the 3.25 p.m. mark, so basically six to seven hours. 
And remember, that's always going to have UTC time on the video if you were able to get the video to play in your area. Okay, so I was looking to try to play that one, and basically I just click on it like this. Should be able to go to it, and I'll watch and we'll get this. Week. This is what I got on the other window. So they saying that the video has been removed. So evidently, supervisory control and data acquisition has decided that the idea that Big Brother doesn't want you to be scared of the sun. So I'll stay glued to this for a second, and then you watch your date up here. You keep watching it and watch full screen, and then you'll be able to see when this CME here, I believe, is going to hit Earth. Ooh, that's why they're not on. It's going to be a pretty damn good direct hit. That's Earth, folks. That's us at the Leo Lagod right here. Okay. So watch your dates and time, and it's a good thing they got to slow down, too, so that you see when. So. so. Yeah. I'm kind of losing the fact that it's a CME, but it come off the sun, ladies and gentlemen. All this comes off the sun right there. And that's that big CME there that's going to hit us on, looks like the 10th and 11th, 13th. Play again, and then we'll see you in the corner of my arm. The, the 11th, 12th, and 13th, and they slow it down pretty good. So we're going to get a nice CME blast. There will be some power distribution. Little glitches, and then you can see that basically our kernel is going crazy a little bit here too. This is the latest data, so the idea that's why we're probably not getting those videos. It's probably a pretty extreme. As you can see, this bowing here, big time. All this, this is basically our ocean of coronal out there in space. Okay, remember the the astronauts are always practicing in uh, deep underwater gear because the idea that basically space is an ocean okay pressure okay so it's a two ladies and gentlemen that basically we can travel the speeds that you can travel with that's right tubes ladies and gentlemen live feeds to you off of your yep it's your tube tv correct basically now you have plasma screens lcd screens to make sure that you don't realize what magical stuff that you can do with a old style picture tube and if you ever see them laying around anywhere they're worth a lot of money especially the old movie theater tubes the sound equipment and so forth worth a fortune ladies and gentlemen worth every cent the son of a bunch are trying to get out of you for them they do make new ones too Some wild stuff you can do with sound equipment. So there's your latest quake that we're showing up in Alaska. It looks like on the map here. It's where it's solar artists. So we'll go down and we'll see the data real fast. Let's scroll through. You see low spikes. And see if we've got any crossfades going on. Oh, yeah. So the sun is doing something just like I was saying. We started to see a crossfade and then we're getting into this stuff. That, uh, basically, I'm just going to uh, get over here and throw you, I believe, the. See if we get. It's not showing a big CME on the graph yet. We're still sitting in deep. It's probably going to be a big CME here pretty soon. Next couple days, you might guess. And there's your earthquake and actual static. Probably going to have some main transformers drift back in contact or so forth and so such. Boom! That area there. That area there. That area there. So it's a good thing the United States is less susceptible of anything, though. Florida. Uh, we'll have to look at it when it comes around on the 11th, 12th, and 13th when that CME hits. Okay? Basically, I think that's the CME I showed you on this earlier footage of here. So let me go to spaceweather.com. So this should increase, okay? Because the actual fact we showed the cross page, we're probably going to get a big CME. And Earth directed CME, they're telling me about it. Team make free to feel near his body. Basically, erupted it on the 5th. It was B class, but the idea that's a good thing it was a B, folks. So there it is, just like, yep. And basically that's the same stuff that I was showing you basically then. So then we'll get down here and then what's causing it. Yeah, we had a rainbow there in the dark. And we might caught it, remember all this, the big size of the stuff that's coming around. And like the one that came by here on the fourth was real real fast for a big one, okay? And ROSOE is getting a little politically twisted by somebody because the idea they kind of started pulling the size of the objects off the bottom of ROSOE, they took the size off. So anyway, let's go look at that. That was big object for why we got these quakes here on the East Coast, okay? Well, there's quakes, fresh earthquake activity, Sicily. 
See, they shortened up. You have to pretty much go here and also space weather.com.